Beckett from China time. Sometimes you find these items on AliExpress and thinking, damn it, it's too expensive. I have no idea what to do with it. But in the end, you still pick it up. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Zenpao Mini Television. So personally, I was very excited about this mini television. I already mentioned this thing was quite expensive. And in the community section, I basically asked the Wicked family, so you, and if you didn't subscribe, consider subscribing. Because what the Wicked family asked, are you interested in seeing this Android mini television? And I got a super positive response on it. So therefore, I bought this product to show you here on the channel. And check it out for you guys. How good is it? And what can you do with it? But there was only one person on AliExpress who was selling this. And I was more like, why is this the only guy selling this product? Because the idea behind it is pretty cool. So let's start with the controller. So I was quite disappointed seeing it comes with a Super NES controller. Because the box itself comes with the S905W AM Logic chip that is powerful enough to run a lot of stuff. Especially when it comes to PlayStation 1. And with this very horrible cheap controller, I think he just grabbed one from the shelf and gave it to this kid. Man, it is really horrible. It got, I think this is the most cheapest Super NES controller I've found in a long time. Nevertheless, it's not even worth mentioning. So let's take a close look at this Senpao and let's talk about it. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get inside the package. We're going to get a very cheap 9 volt power supply for not charging, but there's, there's no battery inside the machine. This is just for powering it on. Of course, we're going to get a controller because this is an Android device. What I do like about it, the receiver is inside the machine, so you don't need to have a separate dongle for this. Then we're having the toilet paper manual deluxe and it's only in, yeah, in the Asian language. There's nothing... Nope, there is no English, but I guess you a quick explanation how to work, but I will show you in this video how it works. But let's take a close look at the Senpao itself, because this thing is quite interesting and how, how good is this thing actually? So let's take a close look at it. But first, pure satisfaction. Okay, so when you're looking at the device, how is the quality in general? It's okay. And the reason why I say it's okay. So to first of all, I just want to point out there's no CRT inside. It's just an LCD display. But the device itself is fully made of plastic. And there are no metal parts like the buttons in front of the television. So again, it's a full plastic fantastic. But it is not that plastic fantastic that it is super lightweighted. In total, it weighs 332 grams. So it's not a lot, but it's more than even, let's say, than a Super Console X that was around 250 grams. So let's talk about the LCD display that is inside this machine. It's a 3.5 inch LCD display, but an IPS. I can see it even from an angle. It looks amazing. And that is a very positive thing with the Senpo mini television. That it even comes with a very nice LCD display and some awesome features. Okay guys, so at the back of the system we're going to get two additional USB ports that we can use for a controller or an external storage. We're going to get the input for the CF card, the input for the power, and of course we're having here the two switches. And the switch is quite interesting. So when you flip them both up, I think you can hear it, but there is a fan inside this machine. It will turn on and basically what you're going to get is the system will basically boot up in the Android version. And every time when you're going to boot up in the TV box mode, you're going to get the intro specially made for this device. Every time when you're turning it on, it's more like it doesn't get any signal. I think it's just more like a finishing touch to this machine that makes it even pretty cool. So as you can see, it boot up really quick. And it's going to get, of course, the older Android menu because this is Android number 7. I just wanted to give you a quick look of the remote. The remote works very well. And, and that is something that I'm very pleased to see because you're going to need it, of course, with the Android menu. Sadly, there's not an Air remote. It's just a really cheap remote. It works, but not the biggest fan of it. So at the front of the device, we're going to get two functional buttons. The top one is basically what you can do is going into black and white mode. Like I already did a video on my second channel playing Cuphead. It's a really cool gimmick. It's just more like an extra thing you can do with it. 
and the bottom one is a volume control so i'm very pleased to put them over here so you can just quickly put them on a different volume if you need it and this button feels quite nice like i always want to say it's a very nice on the top we're going to find one speaker i must say i am not super happy with it it's okay but i want to have for the price range what this thing costs a way better speaker give me two for better stereo sound all right so there is one thing i just need to point out and you maybe already noticed that i didn't talk about the hdmi port and the reason why because this is quite interesting so normally I would say maybe you can use this thing like a game system plug in two controllers hdmi function and let it go but no it's just the opposite so what you need to do within here to uh, switches the first one is turning the system on and off when you're going to leave the second switch in the top position we're going to get the android function we're going to put him in the bottom function we're going to get the hdmi input one function so now we're going to get the tj800 logo and when we're going to turn in in the different position you can see it says hdmi function number one and we're ready to put in a device itself so when the both of the switches are in this position the only thing that we need to do is plug in an hdmi cable and we can basically play games on the mini television yep and so let's do a little bit of gameplay and chit chatting about this it can get more wicked than this So if you're looking closely you can see that we're having two black bars at the bottom and the top and that was some of this game because we're not having the perfect matching resolution when it comes to the internal lcd in combination with the games so that's something you're going to get so let's move on to another game with a perfect resolution so it will fill up the full screen It's quite an interesting thing that we can play more PC games with Steam or my mini Senpao television. It's such a cool gimmick. But okay, so let's do a chit chat about all the other features. Alright guys, so it's time for the ETA Prime moment where we're going to talk about specs. So the brand is Senpao type the TG800. Then there's the CPU is the S905W. That's by the way from AM Logic. The GPU is a Mali 400 MP. RAM 2GB, very interesting, so we can run the new AMO A like 4.0 on it, that we're going to do in the future video. Storage capacity 60GB, Android version 7.1.2, and it has a 128GB Max CF card that we can put in this machine. 3.5 inch display, that is an IPS, beautiful display, with a resolution of 640x480. Okay, so in the next part, I just wanted to play some games, and... I'm going to use my Xbox 360 control for it because this thing is super compatible with a lot of these devices including the Senpao. So maybe you have already noticing that I preloaded some different emulators on it. You can get them from the Play Store, take consideration some are free, some you need to pay for them. But it's pretty cool and yeah, I think it should give this thing a completely new way to play. But okay, let's go on with it and let's play some games. So when it comes to the old stuff, 8-bit, 16-bit, the Senpao have no problem running these things. So it's quite interesting. So let's go to the high-end stuff and let's see how it will handle this.
So the S905W is capable of running a lot of games, and I think that makes the SendPow Mini Television pretty awesome in my opinion. But we will do a separate video about this emulation stuff. Nevertheless, because there is so much we can do with this, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some games and what it is capable of. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get with the Senpao Mini Android Television. I want to focus this device, especially on the gaming part. It has an already old Android, Android 7, so that's not the latest one. You can still get on the store and download some games, but it's not like a really high-end gaming machine. It's just like a fun collectible and can do some awesome things with it. Consider subscribing to the channel because we are going to do a separate video where we're going to do in-depth about more retro gaming on this mini television and do some crazy stuff. Consider checking out the second channel, I already uploaded some testing videos with MPC. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the wicked family, and I will see you in the next video.